Hey kiddos, it's Miss Rinky. We are gonna do some writing today. The materials you'll need will be crayons or markers, if you have them, and then a pencil or a pen to write with. You'll also need some paper. I have drawing paper with lines on it. Parents, if you don't have paper with lines, it's okay. If you'll just make the lines for them so they can keep their writing straight. Um, your prompt today was choose a creature and draw their life cycle. It can be a creature or an animal that we've read about, or it can just be your favorite animal. So let's start with our very first step, which is thinking. So I'm gonna think. Got it. I'm going to do my favorite animal, a koala, because we're the quality scholars, right? So the very first step in a koala's life cycle, sorry, is going to be a newborn baby. And when they're a newborn baby, they don't have any fur, so they're not gray yet. They're still pink. So with my pencil, and I'm all right, just that easy. If you're in my class, you already know that Miss Rinky does not know how to draw very well. If you're not in my class, you'll learn that very quickly. I'm not the best artist, but that's okay. Our pictures don't have to be perfect. So here's my baby koala, and I'm going to draw an arrow. So we know what, that we're going in this direction to the next stage. After their baby, they are going to grow just a little bit, and they're gonna turn into a joey. So that's our next step. I'm gonna draw a joey. That means that they're in between a baby and an adult. So they're just a kid like you. All right, here's my Joey. So he's just a little kid, not quite an adult yet. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my arrow up to the next stage of his life. And after he is born, goes to a Joey, next he's gonna be a full grown adult, just like mom or dad or grandma and grandpa. So I'm gonna draw my full adult koala. All right, here he is. He doesn't look too much different. Oops, I forgot his belly patch. He doesn't look too much different. He's just a lot bigger. So he grew up. So I've done step one. I thought about what I was gonna draw. I've done step two. I've drawn my picture. So now we need a label. We need at least three labels on our drawing. So why don't you help me? Sorry, don't mind my book back here. So for this one, <clears throat> I'm gonna label baby. Can you help me spell baby? B, 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 A, 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 B, 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 and then Y, Y. Label one. Let's move on to this one. Does anyone remember what I said this was called? A Joey. So help me label Joey. J, 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 A, uh, A, uh, O, E, 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 yeah, yeah, why? Baby and Joey both in NY. That's cool. All right, so we have baby, Joey, and then we need adult. A, 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 D, D, A, U, O, L, T, T. Adult. And let's count our labels to make sure we have three. One, two, three. Great job. So now we're done with step one, think. Step two, draw. Step three, label. Now we need step four, write our sentence. We're not gonna write our sentence up here by our picture. We're gonna write our sentence on our lines. And I wanna keep our sentence very simple and short. So I think we can say, 
I love koalas because that is super easy. It's super short, but it's still on topic and it's about our picture. So I'm gonna start with a capital I. I love ul a o v e e and then koalas k k k a o a a u l a a S. I love koalas. And there is my sentence. But wait, it's not complete yet. I love koalas. What am I missing down here? You're right, my punctuation mark. So I need to put my period. And now it's a complete sentence. I love koalas. Now it's the fun part. So we've thought, we've drawn, We've labeled, we've written our sentence and added our period, and now we get to color and add details. So like I said, the newborn baby does not have fur, so he's gonna be pink still. So I'm gonna color him pink. And if you don't have um, crayons or markers at home, you can always just add more to your picture. You don't have to add color if you don't want to. So here's my pink baby. And now I'm going to do my Joey. Koalas are typically gray. They have gray fur. So I'm going to color him gray. Color his face gray. And his arms and his legs are going to be gray. But I think his eyes are going to be black because they have dark eyes. And his nose, that round nose, is usually black. So I'm going to color his nose black. And his little belly pouch is usually black. There's my finished Joey. And now I'm going to do the adult. Got his ears. I'm gonna go back in with that black marker, do his black eyes and his black belly patch and his black nose. And you know, since I'm gonna be creative and add a lot of details, I'm gonna put a tree because as you guys know, koalas live in the trees. So I'm gonna add a tree on here. Got my brown trunk and my green leaves because they like to eat leaves. All right, and that's my finished picture. This took about 10 minutes. You should be able to do it quick, just like Miss Rinky did. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're not all artists and that's okay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and please send your teacher pictures of your life cycle so we can see them too. Bye.